2017s. But, as you can see, I have to pick it up to go on. So I'm going to pick that up. Not going to use it. And now we can continue. Um, but anyway, so it's been a while since I last recorded. Sorry for that. Most likely what I'm going to do today is upload three videos to make up for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then I might just have that and then upload another video tomorrow. Uh, again, I'm sorry for the wait. Only it's not like any of you really matter. I really care. Because at the time of this recording, I have exactly one subscriber. So. But I have delusions that people care about me. So, I'm going to apologize anyway. Sniping with a pistol. Whoa. Achievement, please. Please. Give me my achievement. I will destroy you. What's up? I will destroy you. Can't get it. Man, sinuses and stuff. I'm feeling awful today. Yes, this is a two floor war. Probably shouldn't have done that. He deserved it. He's a meanie. Nobody likes Grumpy or Scorch. Nobody likes you, Scorch. See, I'm hitting you. Naughty. You're naughty. I'm gonna give you a sniper. I can't believe I just said that. Am I really gonna upload this? They're eggs. We are now fighting babies. This is a new old time video game role. Load. Shooting baby aliens. I'm alright with shooting the big daddy parents and everything, but really, we are killing babies here. And they spit acid. I mean, really, this is just disgusting. Who among us would kill our own child because they spit up? I'm sure that nobody in this entire world would kill their child just because they had a little bit of puke. And here we are, supposed to be the warriors of the galaxy killing off baby aliens simply because their daddies made bad decisions. I think we should be punished fairly and justly. It is the Emperor. He is putting us against us. We could all live peacefully and happily, but he is determined to make us suffer. And here is our real well. Here is our, like, I'm, I'd consider this our first mission, because the first level is sort of just tutorial level. So what you're going to do is work your way up, up to that little hill area right up there. And that's our first step. Um, don't bother trying to kill every Genoshin, because they have an unlimited amount. It's impossible to stop them from spawning. No. Why did they put the jump button as Y? That is the stupidest decision ever. Everybody knows that you use A to jump. Who jumps with Y? Alright, so I have come up here. And then what we were supposed to do is slice that. But the easiest way to make sure you don't die is if we use our squad commands and have them defend. So they will be defending us. What's the baby doing there? Oh, he can slice the pinkies. And this is probably my least favorite aspect of the commando. The fact that you've got to wait 10 seconds whenever you want to slice something or set a charge. Most of the time. Sometimes it gets up to like 10, um, a whole minute where you're just standing there and holding A and hoping, praying to God at Almighty that nobody decides to kill you. It's really annoying. I, I said this in the previous episode. But I'm going to say it again. I really think they should have had it as like some sort of like puzzle thing, trying to like search through the computer or something instead of just holding A. 
I mean, I, the first few times it was kind of alright, but after like the 500th time you do it, it's going to get a little annoying. Like there, it's a 20 second charge, So, which either you have someone else do it, in which you didn't defend them for 20 seconds and hope that they don't die, or you do it yourself and trust your teammates. But really, who in a game, in their right mind, would trust the AI-controlled allies with their life? There's a reason that there's all those cat fans that drive in videos for Halo Reach when everybody let Cat drive the Warthog. She would drive her right off the edge of the cliff. There's a reason that happened. The AI stinks. I hate the AI. I guess I should explain this little mechanic right here. So the way you don't really die unless um in this game, what you do is you become incapacitated. And basically, when you run out of shields and your health is down to um, zero, then you will fall down um, incapacitated. And the only way you can get back up is if a squad mate revives you. Um, but it can also happen to your teammates, which means that a lot of times you're going to spend your time reviving your. Delta Squad. I actually like it because it means that just because you're dead doesn't mean you're out. But it gets a little annoying when you've got to wait for your entire for someone to finish shooting just so that you can continue the game. So, um, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I know I'm cutting it a little short, but I this is a nice stopping point. So. Um, we're going to rappel down this ledge, and see you next time. Bye.